Hello there, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your August predictions for career and finance. So we are looking into any money opportunities, any sort of money change and or growth that Spirit is predicting for the month of August. So let's get started and see what's coming through for you, Leo. Happy birthday to my Leo sons out there. Wishing you a blessed, abundant birthday season with many, many years to come. On August 1st, I am announcing the majorly big Leo season giveaway that we are doing from this channel. The winner will be announced on the 8-8 portal day. So pay attention August 1st for that announcement. Let's get started, my beautiful Leos. Do not forget to drop a comment down below and check in with all of us. Tell us how you're feeling and how things are going as well. Let's see. We have cutlery, business tools, needing more money, living well, food related, soul provider, and more work. Some of you are definitely in the culinary business or want to be in the culinary business. I see a lot of the times, a lot of people posting what they made, a lot of people putting out there or sharing recipes with people as well. There could very much be a business opportunity for a lot of you. Some of you may have already had been in alignment with this energy. Some of you are feeling the urge to be or do something in alignment with something that would have to do with food, beverages. Maybe you have a wonderful drink that you can sell. I know people sell like holiday season drinks or um, you, maybe you're opening up somewhere, a bakery, a restaurant, or you can have that opportunity to do that. Some of you as well, you are getting more tools for your business, so doing more training courses that you can add as a service to what you offer. You know, if you do landscaping and you don't do um, like exterior design, maybe you're adding that we you will also design the garden, not only just landscape and cut, but also add um, exterior design to a house as a service. It really could be anything. I'm just giving examples. Some of you, this is very specific talking about, um, food related money making opportunities. You also have the clover, lucky break, gamble, good fortune, chance, finance, outdoors, risky business, and surprises. Yeah, so I definitely feel like for a lot of you Leos, you know, maybe you have um, a very strong passion for cooking. Sell plates. Find a way to get yourself online. Make a website, whatever the case may be. Um, there's definitely something connected to food, and there's also something connected to possibly outside money, where you can make money being outside. You could be a coach, you can volunteer for something, and then they could then end up offer you a job position. I do feel like for some of you, there is something with that where you volunteer for something or you apprentice for something, and then you get a job opportunity from that exact place, or maybe even somewhere better. Maybe even somewhere, somewhere who has better fortune. But very interesting. There's definitely some luck you're coming into in August with your money, which is very, very beautiful. Let's get one more for Leo. And you have the moon. Fleeting funds, unknown source, moonlighting, odd jobs, night shift, and part-time. Yeah, so some of you, you know, you may have to do that overtime work where you're working for yourself. You're doing things for yourself. You're selling, you're baking, you know, don't they do that? And when they bake, um, don't you open up the bakery basically like before the sun even comes up? I know uh, bagel shops, things along those lines, they open up at like the crack of dawn sort of things. You may be doing a lot of preparation at night or you may find that, it's easier for you to do a side hustle or to get extra work done at nighttime. Maybe you're taking even night classes here with the moon coming in. But this is definitely very interesting here. If somebody gives you like a night shift or um, somebody may even be giving you better shifts, you know, where you're working, they may make more money at night. Definitely big for the service industry, specifically like bar, restaurant things, bakeries, things along those lines where like there's somehow food 
or service related. And if that's not the case, and I feel like a lot of you are um, a sole provider or going to be coming into the sole provider and becoming a lot more lucky, there's something around there being an uncertainty and unknown of how things are going to go. And Spirit is indicating that doing things different are going to be beneficial for you. Stepping out of your comfort zone will be beneficial for you. So very interesting. Cutlery, Clover, and Moon. Somehow, some way that may synchronize to your life right now. But that's your prediction for August from the Fortune Career and Finance deck. Let's see what fortune you actually have from the fortunes for August. All right. You have a jumper and you have opportunities. There it is. A stranger is about to change your life. Exciting times and plenty of action plus a family reunion looks likely. Huh. All right, so that is a prediction that Spirit's coming in for a lot of you Leos for the month of August. That could be in whatever way, shape, or form. This could be a total stranger that comes your way. Or, um, you know, there is a lot of different um, possibilities with that opportunity card. Wow, Leo. Let's get you one more fortune and see what else they are predicting for August. That one flew. You also have health. An excellent time to start an exercise program or diet. Many new friendships are on the horizon. Yeah, definitely could be um, doing business with a friend or even being that going into a work-related energy with a friend where co-workers turn into friends, you know. Um, but there's beautiful, beautiful energy for August for you, Leo, financially. Definitely, if there's anything that you want to start doing for your health, a workout plan, a new routine, adding something, subtracting something, definitely do it. You are absolutely going to feel a lot better, a lot more refreshed. So let's see what they have with the astrology blueprint. Predictions for Leo for their career in finance. All right, we have Neptune, enchantment, imagination, psychic, sacrifice, escapism. We also have Mercury retrograde, optical illusion, communication disruption. And we have Aquarius, rebel, unique, and nonchalant. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, you want to do something, but you may be a little bit fearful of what people will say or what people's opinions of you, like maybe if you want to be a bartender or you are a bartender or if you want to work at a club or if you want to do something that seems out of the box, out of the ordinary, unique. Maybe you want to do something taboo like tarot, astrology, um, whatever the case may be. Spirit is indicating don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to the people who have a criticism about it. Let them do what they're going to do. Let them say whatever gonna, they're going to say and do not take it personally. Because I do feel like for some of you, Leos, I mean, yeah, you may feel like this energy is around you. I was going to say Aquarius and then I said, no, yeah, Leo. And for some reason, I feel the need to tell you that some of you, maybe um, there is a very helpful energy around you that is an Aquarius. Aquarius could be one of these um, strangers and or um, new friendships on the horizon since they are the sign you got out. Let's clarify this. It's like, don't listen to what people are going to say. You're, you're fine doing what you're doing. You're making money. Some of you are making more money than these people are, and they think they have like a norm job or a societal approving job. And it doesn't even mean that this is too out of the box. It could just be that you're the sole provider and you're selling it from yourself when people will look at you selling food. It's like, oh, well, you don't work for a food company. And it's like, no, I work for myself. What I make is good or something along those lines. We have Jupiter expansion, travel, luck, belief, seeking. Exactly. So the more you dream, the more you imagine, the more you sit in that Neptune-like energy for what you want for yourself, the more Jupiter with that expansion-like energy is going to give you the power to create that. 
Ooh, lunar eclipse, realization, unveil, and changing perception. Exactly. Don't listen to the naysayers. I definitely feel like there's also supportive people around you that are also telling you to go for things. An Aquarius, fire, passion, desire, ambition with the fire element on Aquarius. Yeah, you have some sort of passion to do something that is very unique, that is very seemingly out of the ordinary for work or at least that's what your mind is perceiving it as or at least that's what you feel like society perceives it as but go for it leo it's going to be so beneficial for you and i do see some of you getting an opportunity with a total stranger as a prediction and others of you absolutely um getting opportunities for growth with work and also um better health for um, August as well. I mean, the sun is in your sign. So that could be, very much bring a lot of sense of healing and better health. Let's see what the tarot has for Leo's predictions for career and finance. We have the hanged man. Exactly. Right on that Neptune Jupiter energy where you are changing your perception, changing perception. Follow right after lunar eclipse. Cannot make this up. We also have the Three of Swords, exactly, feeling hurt, feeling down, feeling like, well, I'm disappointing people, or I am embarrassed to say this is what I do, or this, that, and the other. You're not feeling that way any longer. The Magician, because you manifested this, Leo, because you are the creator of this dream, and no matter how it seems to someone, or how it views to someone, don't let them... Or don't let, don't even let your thought process, because some of you, you're actually like perceiving it outwards, like thinking that people will be critical of this without even actually having the experience. You're just thinking it won't go in your favor. You think people will be very, I mean, people are going to do it no matter what it is. People have things to say about nine to fives. People have things to say about night shifts. People have things to say about overnight shifts. People have things to say about early shifts. People are always going to have something to say, you know, and it's like you're realizing that and you're like, you know what? You're right. Yes. Let's go for it. I am the creator. Clarify this once more for Leo. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Three of Pentacles. There it is. What I want to have for myself financially, working with spirit, listening to your higher self. Ten of Cups on that Three of Swords. Exactly. Only your happiness matters, Leo, especially where you're putting and you're devoting all your time and energy financially. Who cares what society or they think or that person thinks or what they might think? Because some of you, it's not even you would have been in a knowing like energy. The Magician to the Star. Exactly. Wish fulfillments, dreams coming true, beautiful sense of healing, movement forward. Finances are definitely looking up for you here, Leo. You're finding a new way to do things that are much more beneficial for you and it's feeling so good. And you're not feeling the need to hide this part of yourself or to feel like, I don't know, like maybe I, I feel even the need to say like maybe... You and a friend are both really good at cooking, but you really have the time and energy and the drive to say, you know what, I want to have a little cooking online business, but you're like, but my friend does that too. Like she also cooks and I feel like she may think that I'm like trying to say that I'm better by starting an online, like anything. I'm just giving examples. However, way, shape, or form, you can figure out that in a resonating message towards you, towards this, because this is a, ugh, I can't even talk, prediction, take it. So, Leo, in terms of zodiac signs in this spread, Aquarius, on Aquarius, very strong. There could be a very supportive Aquarius energy around you. You have Pisces, you have Gemini, Mercury, with Gemini as well, Neptune with Pisces there, Sagittarius energy with that Jupiter. So let's see what we have for the Moonology. Let's see what the Moonology deck gives you. And you have, it's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. Yes, it is. I mean, that brings it all together. Yes, it does. It brings it all together, Leo. It's time to release the negative perception, the negative people, the negative everything that would be connected to this career opportunity experience growth and or 
a business for you that you have. Wow, Leo. All right, let's see what's the affirmation you have for the August. Um, career and finance. Give me an affirmation. All right, this one flew down. It's this card. And it says, I'm connected to the earth and all life around me. Definitely some outside jobs for some of you doing things outdoors. Spending even maybe more time outdoors. Maybe you'll get it connected into what you want to do more or where you're feeling the urgency to place your time and energy for career and finance. And we're going to end it off on an ending oracle of your power position for your prediction for money in August. So let's get what your power position is for career and finance. For my beautiful Leos, thank you. And your power position, which is so crazy because you have Neptune as your first card and that does rules the dreams, the dream walker. Dreams, the collective good, and illusions. What have I been talking about the whole time? Society, the collective good, dreams coming true, um, that energy of keep dreaming, even if it's something that seems out of the ordinary. All right, so the dream walker, and guess what? That is card number eight. Card number eight, and this is your August prediction. Wow. And August is eight. All right, so the dream walker is your ally, and dreams can really and do come true. Still, there are two kinds. Those of the small self and those of the divine. Spirit has a dream for you that is yours alone, and all you need to do is ask, and it will unfold like magic. You can also play a unique and important part in the divine dreaming of the world when you ask, is this dream for me, and that serves the greater dream? The most beautiful vision for your life serves the highest good for others too. Wow, we we're just saying that, like just like how you were saying, well, well, if I want to do this and this person also is good at this, what if they feel like I'm taking their dream? Wow, wow, how crazy but that that was an example I gave. Okay, just the act of asking will immediately provide the answer. The dream walker is beside you to help you move effortly through the illusions, observing the truth, and celebrating the waking dream of your life that results from it. Wow, Leo, there's definitely some beautiful, beautiful, abundant, amazing energy presenting itself for you as a prediction for August. Cannot wait to see the readings during that month and how they play out. Um, my beautiful Leo, sending my love to each and every one of you. And happy birthday once again to my Leo sons out there. Do not forget to subscribe, like this video if you have not already, and ring that bell so you are on top of all of your Leo bonus readings. And I'll see and talk to all of y'all very, very soon. Have a good one. Bye now.